Good day everyone. In this video lesson, we will discuss about combined variation. Our objectives are define combined variation, translate into variation statement a relationship involving combined variation between two quantities, and solve problems involving combined variation. So let us recall the first three variation and na discuss na natin. The direct inverse and then the joint variation so in direct variation if y varies directly with x or y is directly proportional to x may be translated mathematically as y is equal to kx so tingnan mabuti kung paano natin tinatranslate yung iba't ibang variation na na-discuss na natin in our previous video lesson in inverse variation if y varies inversely to x may translate to y is equal to k over x. Kapag joint variation naman, the statement A varies jointly as B and C, it means that A is equal to k b c or k is equal to A over b c where k is the constant of variation. So, tandaan natin itong tatlo na to kasi yung tatlo na to ay... Uh, gagamitin natin no, yung concept na to sa panibagong type of variation and that is the combined variation. So, sa combined variation, the statement Z varies directly as X and inversely as Y. It means that Z is equal to KX. So, tingnan maigi. Z varies directly as X. So, pag binalikan natin yung direct variation, paano natin tinatranslate? So, that is z is equal to kx and inversely as y. So, nasa baba yung y natin kasi inversely as y. So, ang kinaibahan ng combined variation, so in combined variation, this is another physical, no? This is another physical relationship among variables. So, this is the kind of variation na kung saan it involves both direct and inverse variation and also the joint variation. So itong tatlo na to uh, pinagsama dito sa last type of variation natin, the combined variation. So dapat ma-recall natin kung paano natin tina-translate yung direct variation, inverse and joint variation. Using k as the constant of variation Write the equation of variation for each of the following. First, W varies jointly as C and the square of A and inversely as B. So, isa-isahin natin. So, dito muna tayo sa una. So, your W varies jointly as C. So, kapag jointly, ibig sabihin ito involve two or more variables. So, ano ang kasama ni C? So, meron tayong connector dito na end the square of a. So, ibig sabihin, this is a squared. And inversely as b. So, w equals k. So, yung k natin is the constant of variation. c a squared over b. Again, so, pag translate natin ito into equation of variation, this is w equals k c a squared over over B. Bakit naging A squared? Because that is square of A. So, tingnan maigi kapag translate natin yung mathematical statement into equation. Okay? So, tingnan ko ano yung mga ginagamit kung directly ba, inversely, or jointly. Another example, P varies directly as the square of X and inversely as S. So, kapag inverse kasi, ibig sabihin na sa baba, no? Denominator siya. So, P varies directly. So, directly as the square of X. So, hindi kagaya kanina, jointly ang ginamit. So, P equals KX squared kasi square of X. KX squared over S. So, that is the equation, no? For number 2. Okay, for example, number 3. The electrical resistance R of a wire varies directly as the length L and inversely as the square of its diameter D. So, the electrical resistance R 
of a wire varies directly. So, varies directly as its length L. And inversely as the square of its diameter D. So, ito ay square of its diameter. So, ito ay D squared. So, that is R is equal to KL over D squared. So, for, request, uh, for example, number 3, the equation of variation is R equals KL over D squared. And for example, number 4, the acceleration A of a moving object varies directly as the distance D, it travels and inversely as the square of the time T, it travels. So, Again, for question uh, for example number 4, the acceleration A of a moving object varies directly as the distance D it travels and inversely as the square of the time T it travels. So so umpisa melta that is directly as the distance D. So that is A is equal to KD over T squared kasi squared of the time. Okay? So, last, okay, for example, number 5, the pressure P of a gas varies directly at its temperature T and inversely at its volume V. So, again, number 5, the pressure P of a gas varies directly at its temperature T and inversely at its volume V. So, that is P is equal to K. T over V. So, ganyan kapag translate natin or translate natin yung given statement into equation using the combined variation. Okay, another example. If Z varies directly as X and inversely as Y and Z is equal to 9 when X equals 6 and Y equals 2, Find Z when X equals 8 and Y equals 12. Again, if Z varies directly as X and inversely as Y and Z equals 9 when X equals 6 and Y equals 2. Find Z when X equals 8 and Y equals 12. So, paano natin gagawin? First, translate muna natin itong mathematical statement na to into equation. And that is, Z is equal to KX since directly over Y and that is inversely as Y. And then, substitute natin yung mga given natin. So, yung Z natin is 9 and then yung uh, X natin is 6 and Y is 2. So, to solve for K, so, i-multiply lang natin to 9 times 2. So, that is 9 times 2 equals 6K. And 9 times 2, that is 18. 18 equals 6K. So, to solve for K, divide both sides by 6. So, 18 divide 6, K is equal to 3. So, yung constant of variation natin dito is 3. So, ano magiging equation of variation natin? And that is... Z is equal to 3x. So, papalitan lang natin yung k ng uh, nakuha natin na constant of variation. That is 3. So, Z equals 3x over y. So, ito yung equation of variation natin. So, again, pinalitan lang natin yung k natin ng 3. And after that, masusolve din natin yung value ng Z. So, what is the value of Z kapag ang x daw ay 8 and y is 12? So, ang gagawin lang natin, is a substitute lang natin dito sa equation of variation natin. So, substitute lang natin yung value ng x, that is 8, and yung value ng y, that is 12. So, 3 times 8, that is 24, divide 12, z is equal to 2, if x is 8 and y is 12. Okay? So, pag ganitong uh, problem, ang gagawin muna natin, kunin muna natin yung constant, and then yung equation. Tapos kapag may hinahanap, saka natin i-substitute. Kapag meron na tayong equation of variation. Okay. Another example. If R varies directly as S 
and inversely as the square of u, okay? And r equals 2 when s equals 18 and u equals 2. Find the following. So, first, solve for r. So, ano maging value ng r when u equals 3 and s equals 27? So, para ma-solve natin yung r na to, kailangan muna natin kunin yung constant and then the equation of variation. So, translate muna natin into equation that is r equals ks over u squared. Okay, kasi square of u, di ba? Okay, r equals ks over u squared and then substitute natin para makuha natin yung constant of variation. So, that is 2 equals 18k over 2 squared. And 2 squared is 4, then multiply by 2. So, 2 times 4 equals 18k. To solve for k or for the constant of variation, divide both sides by 18. And that 2 times 4, that is 8. So, para makuha natin yung k natin, divide both sides by 18. So, 8 over 18. So, we can, uh, ano to, uh, lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator by uh, 2. Okay, by 2. Okay, so that is 4 over 9. Okay, so yung constant of variation natin is 4 over 9. Ngayon, balik tayo dito sa tinatanong. Ano daw yung value ng R kapag yung U natin is 3 tapos yung S natin ay 27? So, kunin natin yung equation natin. So, ano magiging equation ng variation dito? That is, R is equal to, so, pag pinalitan natin to, no, papalitan lang natin to ng 4 over 9. So, this is the equation of variation. Papalitan lang ng 4 over 9 yung K natin. And then, yung S natin is 27, then U, yung U natin is 3. Since uh, may squared tayo, kaya 3 squared. And then, simplify. So, 27, tayo, so, pwede natin ito ay cancelled out. No? 27 divide 9, that is 3 times 4, kaya 12. Over, then, 3 squared, that is 9. So, 12 over 9. So, pwede natin i-lowest term by dividing both numerator and denominator sa 3. And that is, R is equal to 4 over 3. Again, ah, uh, Ang gagawin muna natin, kinuha, uh, yung ginawa muna natin, kinuha natin yung constant. And then, gamit yung constant, sinabtitute natin yung u saka s natin para makuha yung r. Okay, uh, gamit yung same problem, what will be the value of s kapag ang u naman natin ay 2 at yung r ay 4? So, since nakuha na natin yung constant of variation, so sa problem na to, so, yung constant is 4 over 9. And then, the equation of variation is R is equal to K. So, ito, papalitan lang natin ng 4 over 9 over U squared. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is yung value ng S. So, to find the value of S, so, substitute lang natin yung value ng U and R. So, ang R natin is 4. So, ito yung ano natin, di ba? Equation kanina. So, ito yun. Ang R natin is 4 and then yung K natin is 4 over 9. Tapos yung S yung hinahanap. And then, yung R natin is, uh, that is, ano, yung R natin pa is 4 and then yung U natin is 2. Kaya 2 squared. And 2 squared is 4. And then, simplify natin, mumultiply natin to. That is 4 times 4, that is 16 equals 4 over 9s. So, para ma-solve natin yung s natin, so, i-divide natin both equation by 4 over 9. So, that is 16 equals 4 over 9s. Again, so, divide natin both equation by 4 over 9. So, 16 divided by 4 over 9. So, kapag dinivide natin yan, the answer is 36. Diba? Kapag dinivide natin to get the reciprocal of this para din proceed sa multiplication. So, that is 16 times 9 over 4. So, 16 divide 4, that is 4 times 9. That, the answer is 36. Okay? Another. 
So, paano naman kapag ang hinahanap dito is U? And then, your R is 1 and S is 36. So, same process. Nakuha na natin yung constant. Ang gagawin nyo lang ay isa-substitute natin dito sa equation natin. So, yung R dot natin is 1. And then, yung K natin is 4 over 9. That is the constant of variation. And then, yung S natin is 36 over U. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. And that is 1 times U. 1 times U, that is U. And then, 4 over 9 times 36. So, ito pwede natin i-divide. 36 divide 9, that is 4. Times 4, the answer is 16. Okay? Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.